Okay, Mario, here we are, part two. I hope you've had a little break and maybe a, a, a cup of tea or something and you're ready to go again. So uh, the next thing is I just wanted to um, put up this uh, little uh, formula here and it's uh, just to show you there, it's a uh, mathematical uh, formula uh, there. So um, one of the things that we can do is go to the insert tab and I'm going to just go to the full, uh, I can just go to a full screen now because that gives me uh, more things. So I'm going to go insert and, oh, sorry, insert. Uh, that's what I wanted. And you'll see here that it's got a text box. And I've got, I'm going to just uh, draw a little text box uh, in there like that. Um, and that enables me to do that. And then I can just... Um, if I just come back to there, um, and uh, just the windows and nudge that into the thing there, I can type this in um, using the, uh, oh no, I probably want it, ax squared plus bx plus c. Um, so um, I'm going to use the, in, in the insert tab, and I'm going to put in an equation. Um, and it's going to be a new equation. And it's going to be um, a. Um, now I can, if I, if you do forget, you can just um, do this. And there's that other one there. Um, so it's a. Uh, now, if you want to put an x squared, uh, you can uh, do this here, like so. Uh, a x and squared a 2 and then drop down out of there and a plus and it puts an automatic space and then you can go uh, bx um, plus c equals 0 oops I've got too much space there. I'm just going to go back to the equals and then just push a zero in there. Right. And, um, well, I'm going to go to my home button here. And I want to make that um, 12, uh, 20. So like like so. So there it is there. And um, I can bring these in. And I'm just going to sort of uh, position it there in the middle of the sheet. Now you can see that it's in a box. Um, I'm going to just uh, right click on that. Oh, no, uh, come on. Right click. Oh, it doesn't want to help me out there. Um, I'll just come here. So that creates a little text box. Um, some of these functions are a little bit, a little bit uh, tricky. Oh, there it is. It's selected the box now and right click and format the shape. Um, and I don't want any line around the outside of the box there. So I'm just going to put no line like that. And that makes the line disappear there. Well, good. Um, so, yeah, just tabbing back in here now. Um, I want to put in the quadratic formula um, there. So, um, and I can, uh, if I... Um, want to I can move this about a little bit um, I've got it there yeah, around about there okay cool um, so the quadratic formula so I want to uh, put in another text box um, so I'm going to go um, uh, go to my insert one here and another text box now you'll also uh, some of you uh, may know about keyboard shortcuts so the real experts with this uh, program um, use keyboard shortcuts, which are, can be quite helpful. Uh, control C, Control V are uh, sort of well-known keyboard shortcuts in most things. Um, so I'm going to go again to the equation. But if you look down here, you'll see that the quadratic equation is already there for you. Uh, so you can put that in and um, you can uh, come up home and... Make that um, 20, uh, like that. And uh, then uh, perhaps um, 
move that uh, move that about a bit to there uh, maybe put that there like that and uh, there it is all is there um, you probably want to uh, change the uh, oops now I want to try and get back to this um, this text box here is it going to allow me no um, oh oh there it is there no oh it's already got the thing over here no line okay uh, another thing you can do with the text box, um, if you can get it to, it can be a bit temperamental. Uh, here it is. You can say save as default text box, and um, you know that might or might not be useful. <laughs> Alrighty. So um, yeah, I'll just uh, come back to here now, and uh, yeah, see, I don't. Uh, well, I might leave that there. And then the next thing I want to do is just get this little uh, piece in here. So that was um, just a, like an intro to um, my uh, quadratic equations thing there. So, um, yep, so we need to go to insert. Um, you can uh, text box, oh, there it is there. So it gives you a, a smaller, um, right, like that, and uh, then editing uh, I don't know that we can get the I don't quite know where to find the equation one so uh, oh, insert maybe uh, here we go oh here it is the equation is there okay um, so I want to uh, put in a new equation and uh, then what you'll see type the equation there and you'll see this is the little thing now um, what we want there is a bracket a bracket uh, x uh, minus uh, and to put it in in the equation one you can use the script here and you can see it's got a little uh, there so you could go x um, one and uh, close the bracket Oh, no, so you need to go a little bit further to get a big bracket up there. That's right. Uh, and what I'm going to do is select that, Control-C. Um, oops. My mouse has gone going for it. Um, I've got limited resources on my laptop, so um, as I'm recording this as well, it, it runs. Um, so that was a Control-C. I don't know whether this will work. Control-V. Uh, there it is there, um, and let's uh, see if we can uh, just get that up to um, 20. Yep, that's done it. There we go, and uh, we want to change that there to a 2. Okay, and um, equal 0. All right, and uh, yeah, okay, uh, maybe just move that a little bit about. So, uh, not a lot of maths, uh, not a lot of maths there, as you can uh, appreciate, but we're learning a little bit about Excel, how to format things, uh, the equation, um, see all of these things are coming to us as we, as we move along. So, um, yeah, um, there you go. All right, so now we just want to get this example in. So um, I'm just putting, I'm going to put the example uh, there, and I'm just going to type in example, E-X-A-M-P-L-E. -E. Uh, now let me see. I want that. Well, I'm just going to, oh, that's there. I want that at the same there. So there's a little thing up here called the uh, Format Painter. So just click on that, click on that. Oh, Control Z. That's not what I wanted. I wanted it the other way around. So select that there, click on the Format Painter, and then click on there. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. Uh, we've got that there. Now, this is a little equation. Um, so we're probably better to type that in with the equation editor. So I'm going to just insert a little text box here. Um, now these some of these are concept uh, you know complex uh, 
sort of stuff that well you know you probably um, you might think you do not you don't need to know at this stage for a basic understanding but hey you know they're they're there and um, at some point as you become uh, more proficient with the Excel um, so now it's just X um, you can use the equation uh, one but um, I just um, have a, a keyboard shortcut, which I mentioned before, which is ALT-253, uh, which will give you the little X squared there. Okay, so you hold down the... I mean, you can go up to the equation editor and do it, um, and then plus... Uh, oops. Uh, plus... Um, what do we want? Uh, 5X, so we just go 5X. Um and um, plus six, and uh, there we go. Um, solve, yeah, there it is. There, so that's um, I'm sort of happy with that. Alrighty, um, it does seem to be in a slightly different font, but hey, um, that's that's all good. Um, yeah, my mouse has a little bit of trouble here. All right, so now, um, right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, try and uh, set things up. So uh, how's our time? Uh, I've gone over the 10 minutes, so that's uh, part two. I, whoa, gone a little bit over. So, yep, just uh, just see if we can get all that sorted. And, um, yep, have a break. Bloody marvellous. <laughs>